Previously on Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Look, I the clock, the hurt, I heard no mean, I saw the the Wow! <laughs> and now back to yelling at people. Hello! This is Nico B. Back with some more Phoenix Wright. When we last left off, we met Phoenix Wright and watched him be a total badass with his Sonic the Hedgehog hair and his freaking yelling power. And now we're on to chapter two, Turnabout Sisters. Day one. Let's begin our quest. Break, break. Pick it up. Hello, this is Maya. Oh, oh bye. <laughs> oh, how about that? Someone actually named Maya. I was, I realized, I actually kind of realized when I was going back into editing, but I pronounced, it's Mia, not Maya, the girl from before. I kept calling her Maya for some reason, but. And now we have a real Maya. That's how you say it. <laughs> That's how you say it correctly. <laughs> oh my god! What? <laughs> me Hi, Mia. It's my. Hey, Maya. It's me, Mia. <laughs> wow. That wow. What are the odds of this? Seriously. Are you like my twin sister or something? This. That's gonna be fucking bullshit. Mia, what's up? I'm called. You haven't called in a while. Sorry, I've been so busy. How have you been? Well, lonely. It's all, it's all your fault. I'm, I have no idea what voice to give this person. No, I'm just teasing. I've been great. I'm finally getting used to having my own place. That's good to hear. Until I see this person, I'm not going to know exactly what to give them, so... Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know. You want me to hold evidence for you. Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz about the un upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. I got you, so what? So what is it this time? It's... it's a clock. A clock? Yes. It's made to look like a statue, the thinker, and it tells you the time. I think you might like it. You always like toys. Hey! I'm not a little girl anymore, sis. <laughs> I'm a big grown woman. Mm. <laughs> Every time I do the psycho voice, I just get really into it. I guess. Now, now, you know I'm only teasing. I should probably tell you, tell you. The clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. You're, you're lame. You always get the worst gifts. I take the clockwork out, sorry. I had to put some papers inside it instead. Papers? Is that some evidence then? Hmm, well, it's a possibility that it might turn out that way, yes. Can you... Wait, am I getting these people? No, okay. Can you come by the office tonight, say not a... Nine to pick up, pick it up. I'll be in pre-trial meeting until then. Oh, cases, but I, but I expect dinner something good. I feel like something's, I feel like something bad's about to happen here. Like burgers. I really like go, go for a good burger. I'm going for a really good meat sausage right now. Mm, and you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, okay, we'll head up the usual joint. All right, it's a deal. Okay, sis, see you soon. Yep, I'll be waiting, Maya. Beep. Conversation recorded. Oh, that's uh oh. Why would it, why would it be recorded unless it's it's for something useful? September fifth, nineteen nineteen. No, wait, nine twenty-seven a.m. September fifth, eight fifty-seven p.m. Paying law officers. Now I miss. Uh, I don't know. Uh, now I must fail. Take I'll take what's mine. The papers. I'm sorry, but I can't give can't give you what I don't have. Miss Faye, you are a poor liar. I see right over there. It must be the thinker that swallowed those papers. How could you know? Oh, 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 oh. You are not you are not configurous of my my background. Gathering information is my bi business, you see. I I should have been more careful. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> You've been a naughty little girl, Mia. Time for the naughty list. <laughs> and all those on the naughty list, they must die. My dear Miss Faye, I am so very sorry, but I am afraid I must ask for you, you for one more thing. Your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Faye. I knew she was gonna die. No! <gasps> totally didn't see that coming. No! What? Am I holding a flashlight? <laughs> uh, don't, uh... What the hell? 
Oh my gosh, you got killed by an Oompa Loompa! Red, white, and blue! <laughs> Why does it keep showing me who the killer is? Stop doing that, game. I'm being surprised. Chamber 5th. Remember the game is like, Sorry, we, they, we know you're too stupid to play this game. Figure it out yourself. So we're just going to tell you who it is right now. So Dwarf 5th, 1908. Fan coming to law offices. Oh, hey, look, it's a dead body on the floor. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm late. Oh, man. <laughs> Bussings. Huh? That's strange. She must have gone home already. She said her sister was coming over here, so we should all go out to dinner. What's this smell? Blood? Oh, oh my god. Mia! Maybe she's in her office. Examine? Ha move! No. Oh, I can actually... Ooh, look at me. I smell blood. That can't be good. But you can see me yet. That she's okay. Oh, I thought I was examining the body. All right. No, no, go to the door. Oh, oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was confused. Go to office. That smell, blood. Uh, sis. Someone's there. Huh? <gasps> Oh no! Oh, okay, that must be the other. Oh, I don't know if that's it. I don't know. She didn't look like a psycho, does she? Chief? Chief? Chief! <laughs> he rips his shirt off. No! Dude, I called that last game. Oh, no way. You're getting the freaking. You're getting Fujisaki slash. Uh. Yeah, that other girl. I can't remember. I guess it was Maya, wasn't it? Wait, was it Maya? Was that her name? From Corpse Party? Dude, if that is, then I, I can't remember this. The little tiny one. Who are you? Holy shit, did she just pass out? Strange girl dropped out cold. I left her lying on the so office <laughs> I thought she was there. I left her lying there on the floor. and <laughs> I was like, okay, just stepped over you. <sighs> Went back to the chief's where, where she laid under the window. Damn. Body was still warm. I could feel it when I held when I held her <laughs> when I held her up to my penis. Wait, no. I mean, yes. Then all too quickly began to fade until finally she was cold. Wow, she must have like literally just died. Chief, time to examine. <laughs> Chief, it's hard seeing her like this, but there aren't any clues here. She was struck in the head with a blunt object. She probably died instantly. I think her lying next to her must have, been, must have been the murder weapon. Oh, that fucking thinker! God damn it! <laughs> Why did... Damn it! It's freaking Larry's fault again, isn't it? <laughs> damn it, Larry! <laughs> Way to go! You killed another person! Hope you're happy, Larry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm a horrible person! You just deserve to kill me! You're damn right I'm gonna kill you! She's gonna have so much sex with her! You denied it all! Hmm, there's some glass shards near the chief's body. There's some pieces of the glass. Light stand lying broken in the back of the room. Glass shards. Nothing else that seems like a clue here. Hmm. This really is like Danganronpa, though. I like, I'm like, I gotta like, scroll around and everything. A piece of paper! It must fall from Mia's hand. What could it be? <laughs> I am so boned! <laughs> Just want, want to let everyone know that I am so boned! Remember to buy <laughs> whoever whoever I'm making soon. Remember, buy Maya a cheeseburger. <laughs> uh, words written in blood in the scrap paper. Maya. Maya, did me write this? This piece of paper is a receipt from a department store dated yesterday. I was like, I was like, she just she wrote that in her own blood. That's like Maya. <laughs> The killer is eh. You could have written. The, you could have spent the time to write the name of the person that killed you. I think it's enough snooping around for now. I better call the police. Find out what the, the girl was doing here. What do you know, you dirty whore? Wait, 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 wait. Uh. Okay, that's. Is that it? Move. Back here, I guess. Ugh. The 
girl just now. Where'd she go? I put her right there on that sofa. Uh-oh. Hope she didn't run out on me. Oh, man. Oh, there she is. Oh, gosh, there she is. <laughs> Where the hell did you come from? Don't scare me like that. Um, excuse me, bud. Who the fuck are you? It's okay. I work here. Maya! Maya Faye! Maya Faye? Maya. So Mia was writing this girl's name. Oh, my God. I put two and two together. <laughs> Maybe I should show her the receipt? I never thought there'd be a use for evidence like this outside the courtroom. Uh, okay. Talk. Excuse me, Chuck. I don't want to disturb her, but I have to know. Uh, excuse me. Could you tell me what happened? Like, <laughs> why is, uh, my boss dead on the floor? Did you kill her, boobs? I will murder you! Okay, I can't, I can't let the room star. And sis, sis. So she was already dead. So you're the chief's sister. I'm her younger sister. And you were here, <laughs> here visiting this late night. Why is she like wearing a little kimono and everything? Look at her. What the hell do you do for a living? I wonder. Yes, she said she wanted me to keep someone some evidence for her. Evidence. Yes, it was that. It was that clock. It was the thinker. The thinker. God dang it. <laughs> Stupid. Somebody needs to throw this thing away now. I mean, seriously. After we gotta fuck this up. All right. Present. Present. Wait. Oh, I guess I gotta click it there. There we go. For me, a die shirt and misses with their own blood. <laughs> Here, look and look at her blood. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Show her on the back of this receipt. <gasps> <laughs> That's my name! Why? Why would she write my name? You killed her, didn't you? I knew it! <laughs> Please, just calm your shit down. Why would this write my name? Uh-oh, now I've done it. <laughs> I better hurry up and call the police. <laughs> okay, that, that, that didn't work quite well, did it? Okay, you just chill here and, uh, what do I do now? normal office desk. She said a very particular policy about office decor. It's been big on the stuff clients use, but keep your own stuff simple. Is that not? Oh, no. The, the big, how about the big, how about the big glowy thing there, Nico? Right, I better call the police. That's funny. Either the screws and the receiver are missing. Looks like someone was halfway through tanking it apart. Police! Oh. <laughs> police! Please, come qu quick! Huh. <laughs> what was that? Someone screaming from the outside of the window? Oh. Holy! <laughs> Come quick! My boobs just popped right out of my shirt! <laughs> <laughs> the the cop's like, my god, I'll be there immediately. <laughs> Guys, we got some serious bo we got a some serious boobage. <laughs> what boobage? Oh my god. We need we need all our men there. Stat! Ladies, you stay behind! <laughs> They're like, uh what? <laughs> this could get messy. She's staring right at me. She's holding a phone in her hand. There's this crazy sonic, sonic-haired guy there. Uh-oh. The receiver's missing a few screws. I better not use it. Oh, all right. What? What do I do? Go back again? Okay. Well, now they obviously think I killed him. Oh shit! It's the popo. Get down, Mia. Maya. <laughs> Whatever your name is. The Bobo! So, so they're coming this way. Freeze, police! Put your motherfucking dick, dick, get that dick out of your hand and come over here. Well, I'm not touching my. <laughs> Alright, I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe, see? See? <laughs> dick Gumshoe, really? <laughs> Gumshoe? <laughs> what an odd name. We received a report from the building across the way, see? Got a person saying they saw a murder. Oh dear! They mentioned boobs, so we came right away. Must be the wo woman I saw. Anyway, I don't want either of you moving one single inch, okay? I am breathing very deeply. <laughs> Whoa. Great, just great. But wait, she wouldn't have. 
Uh. Well, uh, excuse me. <laughs> this word my here mean anything to you? See? Um, that. That's my name. What? <laughs> the victim drew this here note in her blood, see? With her dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name. <laughs> this guy looks so like. Killer, I'm not. Click case closed, you're coming down to the precinct, ma'am. <laughs> okay, what? I just do. <laughs> Stop! Don't! Let go of me! Do you calm? Do you calm the shit down, man? Me and your sister Maya was arrested on the spot. <laughs> Case closed. Justice was served. Oh wait, no, no, that's not right. <laughs> I was thinking for a question and didn't get out until the next morning. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around waiting for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. Aw, <laughs> oh, poor Maya. Dude, her friggin' sister gets murdered and then she's arrested. Demo 6, 9.07 a.m. Detention Center, visitor's room. Wow, they have a poor... Poor Maya looked like a criminal. <laughs> oh my god! Well, at least they kept her... At least they didn't put her like an orange jumpsuit. They can't, they, she still has her little kimono thing. Oh! It's you! The lawyer! G good morning! Good morning! <laughs> good morning! <laughs> he puts his mouth in the microphone. Can you hear me, my? <laughs> Oh, yes, please! She looks so tired. Um, are you going to be my attorney? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, not a chance. I better, I better give it to her straight. It's up to, it's up to you. Up to me? Yes. I don't think this is something I should decide. But I'm going to do it anyway, bro. After all, you're the one in trouble here. They're never gonna believe me, are they? Even you, when you found me in the office, you looked at me like I'd done it. Actually, I already know who did it, because the game showed me, so, uh, not true. <laughs> did I look at her like that? No! No! I never thought. It's okay, I understand. And I've also heard about you. Heard? Heard what about me? I've only had one case. I... I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. Oh, dude, she is so food. She is so foodisaki, but hopefully she doesn't have a penis. <laughs> today, my today was my junior partner, my junior partner's first time in court. Wow, really? How did that go? It was quite the scene. Holy shit! You have no idea. I was so turned on. I was getting ready to make. Some, I'm going to make some serious babies with him tomorrow night. Hopefully, nobody comes in and brutally murders me. Honestly, I was on the edge the whole time. It's been been a while. Uh, so he he crashed and burned. He's a freaking genius. You should have seen him. How many times did he slam that desk? Like twenty times. It was awesome. And he yelled, he yelled, he yelled so loud at everybody. One of those strike fear into the hearts of evil types. The only thing he's lacking is experience. Ah, uh, sounds like it was fun. Well, I know. Well, I know who to go to if I ever get into trouble. Now, I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait, want to wait, give him three more years. That is, unless you want to be found guilty. Ouch. <laughs> hey. That's what she said. <laughs> I could have done with that, la that last part. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to trouble you. Aw, oh, you're funny. Up here, don't end up being a dude, please, alright? <laughs> please. Don't, <laughs> where every girl end up liking in like, these games just ends, up, just ends up being a dude and so <laughs> Actually, I'm not so really Maya. My name is Axe. <laughs> they call me Axe because I like cutting things. <laughs> no! <laughs> Damn it! Damn you, penis! You betrayed me again. No, it's okay. It's true, I guess. But at the same time, I just can't. I just can't sit and watch. When I think of the person who did this to Mia. I know. So I've been wanting to ask you, why are you wearing a kimono? Yes. What's with that outfit? Yes, good, okay. I wasn't sure this was just going to be that zany, uh, you know, the zany anime thing. Where There's no real explanation why she's dressed like that, but we're just going to go with it. Oh, this? This is what all acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you could say. Acolytes? Are people in religious training? What is it you do? 
Oh, it, it's nothing strange, really. <laughs> I like her little surprise, like... <laughs> I'm a spirit medium in training. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Oh, you're like Hagakure, except a hundred million times less annoying. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that qualifies as strange. <laughs> day of the crime. Did you tell me about the day of the murder? Yes! <laughs> Let's see. That morning I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold onto a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence? Yes, that clock shaped like the thinker. The one Larry made. Damn it, Larry! <laughs> How could there have been evidence in a case? Um, right. She said something about that. I remember. Do you want to hear it in her own voice? Her own voice? Yes! I'm pretty sure our conversation is on my cell phone. You recorded it? Yeah! I forgot how to delete those things. Oh, alright. Uh, before about that, let me hear about the spear, spirit medium. So you're an acolyte, uh, or medium in training. That's right. The Fey family, especially the women, have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Wait a second, you said the Fey family? So Mia was into that, this stuff too? Of course! She let, the she let the mountain to follow her career, she said. Her powers were first class, too. I... wow, really? <laughs> Seriously? Yes, I can see your future, Phoenix! <laughs> I can see my future, too, and I'm about to get fucked later! <laughs> I mean, not literally, I just mean I'm, I'm about to die. That's what I, that's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> Wait! What? So... You're a real honest to goodness spirit medium, with ESP and all that? Yeah, yes, in training. Well, can you contact me a spirit then? You can just ask who killed her. Yeah! I'll totally go in court, right? <laughs> I I'm sorry. I'm still in training. I couldn't do something on that level. Hmm. I thought that would be too easy. Well, obviously the killer's that dude, because my spirit medium friend told me it was it was her. <laughs> oh, yes, well, that's that makes sense to me. Oh, yes, you're found innocent, not guilty. So you see you have a conversation with your sister on your cell phone. Let's hear it. Right. Oh, I just remember that detective took my cell phone. Sorry. Oh, right. Of course. Next time I see Detective Gums, you're asking for it. All right, you know, so you don't forget, okay? Sure, thanks. Eyes memo. Wait, remind me not to. How could I forget this? I'm sure, the game won't let me forget. I mean, right? Um. Huh? Something the matter? Um, I was wondering. Can I ask you a favor? This is the address of a famous lawyer. <laughs> I'd actually rather him have me have him be my lawyer. Ah! Oh, <laughs> damn it! <laughs> you shattered my heart. <laughs> you just took it and just shattered it. <laughs> Hi, Maya. Why? My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And, well, I'm in trouble. Do you think you could go ask him to represent me? Hmm. What? what? I thought I was representing you. I thought I was... Wait, was I not gonna... I, I can't force it, I guess. I don't know. I'll, I'll say accept, I guess. Sure, why not? I'll go ask. Thank you so much. I have no one else to turn to. Say, what about your parents? Oh, uh, say, say, what about your parents? Uh, I see. Don't worry, leave it to me. Thank you. Trial's tomorrow at ten at ten o'clock. What? Tomorrow? Tomorrow. This guy refuses. He told me that if I don't file one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. What will that happen? They're giving me until four this afternoon. The city hours are almost up. I better hurry. Right. I'll be back. Right back. I might as well ask about this. Did you tell me about the day of the murder? Or, sorry, I, I know it must be hard. No, it's okay. All I've been doing the last few hours is talking about it. I've kind of gotten used to it. Let's see. That morning I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to the piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. It's a thinger clock that Larry made. Practically qualifies as a serial mur mur murder by now. So then, when did you arrive at the office? It's right around right, nine. nine. The lights were off and I could smell blood. And then I found her, my sister. Thanks, Maya. That's all I need to hear for now. Okay. Uh. Alright, let's go. Grossberg Law Offices. See you, Maya.
Fabus X Grossberg Law Offices. According to the receptionist, the big boss is out. She couldn't say when he'd be back. Must be hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention running an office like this. I guess I'll just come back later. Oh, alright, well. Fuck, what am I gonna do then? Things have been bugging me ever since I stepped in here. The old pain is so thick it's practically giving me a stuffed nose. I'm sure the price is nothing to sneeze at either. For that matter. The hell am I- Is the lawyer a freaking crocodile dundee? Like, what the hell? Two for clients. Hmm. Elegant ebony case. If I'm not mistaken, that letter's made of solid gold. Even I can tell someone here's got money to burn. Holy shit. Gonna get crunk. Okay, well, uh... Number six. They in co company law offices. I was just filled with police officers. They were busy searching for clues. Hey, you there! I knew it was gonna be you. This is a crime scene, pal. No trespassing. Uh, I'm sorry. Don't I know you from somewhere? Wait, you're that butts guy, aren't you? No, no, don't... I... <laughs> don't you dare compare me to Larry Butts. <laughs> no, and Phoenix right. Can anyone miss me for Larry? Seriously. He's... <laughs> Larry is crying all the time. Do I look like a little, do I look like a little sobby wimpy? Uh, I guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. That butts guy, he, he was a killer, and you're no killer, right? He was proven innocent, stupid. Um, right. And you were... Uh, of course, I remember your detective suede shoes. <laughs> uh, suede shoes, wasn't it? That's me. Don't step on my blue suede shoes. <laughs> Wait, no, that's a song, pal. <laughs> I just want to pick that one. My name's Dick Gumshoe. Dick Gumshoe. Everyone just calls me Dick. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Wait, that's a Techno Gumshoe to you, pal. Anyway, get the name right. And don't go calling me Dick. <laughs> hey, Dick, get over here, man. <laughs> yes, sir. Be, be right there. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Um, yeah. You're her lawyer, right, pal? If you got a business here, you better do it quick. See? <laughs> Who do you think some Maya's lawyer? That works. About Miss Fade, you haven't... Did you do an opsopsy? Mm, you want to know the results, eh? Now, don't you look at me like that, pal. It's no use. She might have been on your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. All right, all right, all right. You can see the report, but that's all. <laughs> wow, you, wow, you came in real quick to that. Here you go. Also, here's a copy. Here's my credit card and a copy, copy of my birth certificate. Um, about Maya. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that trial. Sorry, pal, but this is only one trial you aren't going to win. Uh, why do you say that? The city's put Prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution. Edgeworth? I'm sure you know what that means, you being a lawyer and all. Uh, no. <laughs> Who the fuck? Prosecutor Edgeworth. That's right, pal. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait, you do know him, don't you? Uh, <laughs> of course not. Never heard of him. Whoa, and you call yourself a lawyer, pal? How about four years ago, this Edgeworth guy became a prosecutor at the age of 20. Everyone says he's a genius. Surprised you don't know him. Oh. Of course I know him, I was just flank dumb. <laughs> He's a cold, heartless machine who'll do anything to get a guilty verdict. The rumors of back alley deals and, and forged evidence. All I know for sure is that Edgeworth hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. I never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. Oh god. Yay! I feel like I've jumped the gun here, man. <laughs> just would jump right out of the deep end. Uh oh my god, it's gonna be like the He's gonna be like the Gary to my ash, right? Damn it. Damn it, Gary. Uh, okay. Is that it? Am I done? Okay, your family. What about your family? I only have my sister. My father died when I was very young, and I don't know where my mother is. I don't know. How could she, how could she still be alive? Why did my family have, me have been memes for generations? Oh god, you're like freaking... Uh... I uh, you me, aren't you? Jesus. <laughs> oh lord. They say that ASP runs in our blood. About 15 years ago, our family was involved in an incident. 
There was a man and he... He, he ruined our mother's life. Ruined? After that, she disappeared. Seven years after that, my sister announced she would become a lawyer and she left the mountain. So... So you live by yourself? Yes, I've gotten used to it. Oh, also, I had to become an independent... Independent or I would lose my SP. I feel bad for her. I'll, uh, I'll buy yourself up on that mountain. So, who was this man who, um, ruined your mother? About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. It made quite a stir. Everybody was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads, and they were getting desperate. Wait, they didn't use the spear medium, did they? The police convinced my mother to try to contact the, the victim. Wow, so, uh, what happened? The case was solved, we thought. You thought? The man my mother helped, helped the police capture was innocent. Oh, shit! Police consult co consultation with the medium it had all been carried out in secret, of course. But a man found out about it and leaked it to the press. He told all the papers that my mother was a fraud, and the me and me had jumped on it big time. She, my mother, became the laughing stock of the nation. Ooh. Oh, I see. White. Excuse me, White. That was his name. My sister told me. White. Hmm. <laughs> There's a piece of paper next to the victim, wasn't there? Yeah, the one with the killer's name written on it. Are you sure that Mew wrote it herself? Given the condition of the writing, it's hard to say if it's her handwriting or not. So there's no proof that Mew wrote it. Ah, okay. Conversi a conversation I had with... Oh, record on the cell phone. Can I... What do I... How do I get that? Can I present? I was wondering, did you see my my face cell phone? Oh, oh, that I have that. You think you could give I give it back? Sure. I mean, wait a sec. Wait a second, pal. Tricky lawyer. <laughs> Dude, I just asked a question. Oh, he's on to me. <laughs> tell him straight. Tell him not so straight. <laughs> tell him straight. Hmm. If I tell him why I, wa I want it, there's no way he'll give it to me. <laughs> Something the matter? Oh no, it's just you know, detective. Nope, I know nothing, pal. <laughs> a cell phone has a lot of numbers on it. Like, her boyfriend's. Cell phone has all a little girl's sweet and spicy secrets. <laughs> oh, 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 you're, you're, you're trying to confuse me, aren't you? I see what you're doing. Sorry, pal, I already checked all the numbers in our memory. Impressive, you're quite the detective. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, here, you can have the phone back. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused. This guy's like, for like two seconds, he'll be like, Wait a minute, I'm not gonna give you anything. Here, have the hood back. <laughs> I have, I do U-turns a whole lot. There aren't any switches call records in there after all. So you didn't notice the recorded conversation. Okay, got it. Check the court record to hear the recorded conversation. Okay. Excuse me. It's about still the questions I need to. You all done, pal? Um, yes, thank you. I'm heading out now. Oh, wait a minute. One more thing I wanted to mention to you. I don't suppose you're planning on talking to that witness. Anyway, you better not. No influencing the witness with your luring ways, pal. Whatever. Oh. <laughs> oh, you mean the chick with the giant boobs? No. <laughs> Never think of it. I had I completely forgotten about her. Thanks for reminding me, dude. I'm gonna go question her now. The witness? Yeah, Miss April May. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry about this, but I can't tell you. I can't tell you anything about her. <laughs> well, you just. <laughs> but you just told me your name, Miss May, huh? So you sent her home already, then? Ah, uh, you're trying to you, you're trying little lordly tricks on me, uh, Now she's not gonna. She's not to go outside her room until the trial. So she's still in the hotel across the way. <laughs> <laughs> You're not getting anything out of me, pal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's still in there. This is no better than to try to get detected to leak information. Oh, man. You're good, man. You got that right, pal? <laughs> Time to pay visit, visit to Miss May. See you later, dude. See you later, dude. Shit. Alright, see you later, pal. <laughs> Alright, let's listen to... Oh, wait, no, no, no. I've already heard this conversation, right? I, I don't know. He, he probably needs to check it at least, right? Give myself some information. Oh, 
maybe not. Oh, let's check out the... I, I, let's check out the autopsy report here. Single blunt force trauma. Death was instantaneous. Alright, see you later, loser. Alright, see you later, pal! September 6th, Gatewater Hotel, room 303. <laughs> oh, yeah! Well, hello there, handsome! Oh, no, you... Now, I am getting the psycho voice. Hell yeah, baby! Um, hi. <laughs> um, hi. Uh, <laughs> damn it. Smooth, right? Real smooth. Why are my hands up in the air like a little kitty cat? You're the lawyer, aren't you? Detective told me. He said, don't say nothing to that lawyer, pal. Tee hee. Oh, man. Do you like my outfit? I really think it shows off my boobs real well. Don't you think? Hey, you want to touch them? <laughs> Remember to self. Thank you, Detective Gumshoe, for making my job harder. Jeez, this is all like something out of a movie. It's all so exciting. I can hardly contain my boobs. Oh, let me go freshen up so I can look the part of the beautiful eyewitness. Oh, man, it's... I pity the lawyer that's crossing him in this one. Oh, wait, no, I don't. What am I talking about? <laughs> Alright, let's look around. What do we got here? Oh, drink for two. Late summer su sunlight streams through the window. There's a bank company law office in the building. See inside the room pretty clearly from here. I think it'd be a little difficult to recognize the face from this distance, though. What about this drink here, kind of? Bottle and two glasses are on the table. Somebody must have been staying with her. What's that? There's a screwdriver stuck in this drawer. Wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> what are you? What do you think you're doing? No touching. But you just said I could touch. <laughs> I was meaning my boobs, but not my screwdriver, okay? <laughs> Nobody touched my screwdriver. Ooh, bad boy. Bad boy, you need a spanking, don't you? You really shouldn't pry around in other people's rooms now. You wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? Would you? Upset? I thought she was going to explode for a second there. Or it could be inside the drawer. But we were talking about how the screws were missing from that phone. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe she, maybe she was like a, she was like a partner or something. For the crime, and then she like ran back to the building and uh, uh, called it in the police. You know, to I don't know, make herself seem less suspicious. I don't know. Uh, hey, you can tell me, tell me something. I need you to describe what you observed at the time of the incident. Oh, observe, instinct? You sound just like a lawyer in the movies. I like a man with a big, mm, big, throbbing vocabulary. <laughs> uh, better not encourage her. Mm. <laughs> Your <laughs> and going so her hand slowly crawling down. <laughs> Waste. Can't. <laughs> Should stop, but can't. <laughs> Too powerful. Or, you know that thing that occur, um, happened the other day. The bad thing. You know, that doodle ding dong at that blah blah. What did you see when do da dee da loo ba bee happened? I suppose you can tell me about it, please, please. Let me see, um, well, haha, <laughs> dream on! If you wanna know, you'll just have to come to the court tomorrow, Mr. Lawyer. Good boy. Dee hee! Oh boy, look at my little hearts. Aren't they adorable? I really think they compliment my cleavage. Um, could you just... Who exactly are you, anyway? Oh, Mr. Lawyer, are you hitting on me? Damn right I am. Nah, yes. Hey, I'm just doing my job here. D, you know, you're cute when you blush. Believe me, this is the first time in my life I've blushed this much. <laughs> oh, and you got such an adorable erection in your pants. I knew I should have worn tired underwear. Damn it! <laughs> Um, <laughs> right. Can you just, uh, tell me what it is you do? Well, no, T. <laughs> and you had your little hopes up, didn't you? Oh, boy. Alright. I'm sure, she's, I'm sure she's gonna totally tell me about her room. So there are two glasses on the table. Is someone staying here with you? Ooh, what an amazing powers of observation. You must be one of those famous detectives, like, on television. Like, CSI... CSI, uh... Where do we live again? Whatever this fake town is! 
Oh no, not me. I'm her, uh, just lawyer. Say, Mr. Big Throbbing Detective, why don't you go look for clues in the garbage, hmm? Miss May doesn't like nosy little lawyers, hmm? <laughs> Aww, you're being a little bitch. <laughs> oh boy. Jesus, never mind. Alright. Alright, see you later, bitch tits. Alright, see you later. Alright, maybe now this guy's back. I'm saying Mr. Grossbird is out. Well, maybe I should just wait here for him to come back. <laughs> oh, my lord. Oh, Tracy, I need some water. Yes, Mr. Yes, Mr. Grossberg. <laughs> oh, oh, lord. Oh, you are. Oh, hold on. Oh. That was the most over the top clearing of the throat I've ever heard. Oh, lord. What do I want to give you? Oh, my god. Oh, I'll just give, I'll give him the ace voice. Aha, uh -huh, see, so you're the one that has been looking for me. Uh, yes, it's me. He looks grander than I, he looks even grander than I imagined. Look at that, look at that stash. Hmm, that badge on your collar. Ah, yes, you're a lawyer, are you now? Yes, well, yes. And what do you want? I'm not particularly busy these days. Please, proceed. Not busy? Then how come no one can get in touch with you? Hmm, something the matter. I came to see the one and only Mom in Grossberg, did you not? Well, here I am, stash and all, boy. What do you want? Out with it. Um, well, uh, sir, actually, it's about Maya, Maya Faye. Oh. Ah, yes, M Maya Faye. Go on. Well, that's a strange reaction. <laughs> I'm really quite busy here, son. I can't go taking cases on a day's notice. No, it's quite impossible. Wait a second. How'd you know the trial was tomorrow? And you just <laughs> you just said you weren't doing anything at all. Oh, um, yes. Mm. Anyway, I'm afraid it's entirely impossible for me to represent her. I'm sorry about that. I don't discussion. See you later. What's going on? You refuse me before you even got a chance to ask him. What do I do? What do I tell Maya? Looks like, looks like it's up to me. Wait, 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 now I probably should talk to him a little bit, right? How can you just refuse like that? Please, tell me why you won't take the case. Hmm, uh, <laughs> well, you see, it's just I'm, I'm busy, you see? The client is me and Faye's sister. Or, the client's me and Faye's sister. <laughs> yes, um, we trusted you. She knew her sister would be in good hands. Yes, yes, of course, I, I knew that. However... I'm sorry, but I must refuse. Sorry, goodbye. You are the weak link. Goodbye. Ah, oh, creep. Fine. No time to argue with you anyway. I'll go look elsewhere. Uh, I cannot. Huh? Huh? Did you say something? I think not, I said. W what do you mean? I'm terribly, terribly sorry. I'm afraid that no lawyer worth their salt will take on this particular case. Terribly sorry, my boy. Why? I, I cannot say. I beg your pardon, but could you leave? Like, get the fuck out of here. Now, I've nothing more to discuss with you. <laughs> what is going on here? Well, that's too fucking bad, bitch. We keep asking you stuff. How'd you know Mia Faye? She worked here a long time ago. Quite the apprentice, that one. Learned my techniques in the blink of an eye. She left one day, quite suddenly. She had a mission, you see. A mission? You can see it in her eyes. She followed it with a burning passion. Never looked back, that one. Dude, what's up with Crocodile Dundee behind you? That's, uh, quite the fitting there. Aha! You've noticed! It's my pride and joy. Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? <laughs> the color of the sky, the hue of the sea, and the weave of the straw hat. Behold! It's worth at least three... Be behold! My brilliance! It's worth at least three million. I have no intention of parting with it, of course. No, I won't sell it. Not even to you, Mr. Whoever you are. I wasn't interested. I don't, I don't want Crocodile Dundee in my house. It's not for sale. I'm not buying it. <laughs> Jeez. No, I will not sell it. You can convince me. Oh, fine. I'll sell it to you for only, only under, nothing under five million. I don't want your fucking painting, all right? For the love of God, I'm going to kill you. You don't. <laughs> no. Take it, take the painting! <laughs> it's watching me. Just look at the shadows. You hear the voices? 
<laughs> okay, there's right, Slitter, weird crazy guy. Oh, I'm sorry, my uh. Sheriff 6. It's now 6 3 4 2 p.m. Detention Center Visitors Room. Hiya! <laughs> oh, you're back! Did you find the lawyer? Oh, uh, well. What do I tell her? Well, see. Let's be honest. I really don't think you should use that guy. He didn't seem healthy. He was all skin and bones. <laughs> he was really fat, though, wasn't he? <laughs> I seen a picture of him. He was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got me. What really happened? You don't mean he refused to help? <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, God, it hurts. I see. I've been abandoned then. Just a little longer now before the state appointed lawyer comes, I guess. 4 p.m. Time's up. What should I do? Just leave her and go home? <laughs> go home! <laughs> no. Defend Maya. I made up my mind. Yes, by the power of Grayskull. I'm gonna defend you with him, whether you want me to or not. <laughs> Why? Why, well, can't abandon you. Someone else is the culprit. I don't know why. No. Is this... No one is as sad as a person without any friends. I know. I've been there a long time ago. Oh, look... Oh, it was sad. He was sad, Phoenix. Oh. Uh, he was like a little Naruto, wasn't he? Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? Because someone has to look up, out for the people who have no one on their side. Maya. I won't abandon you. You can count on me, because I'm Phoenix fucking right, bitch! That's so kind of you! <laughs> I love you! <laughs> I would hug you if there wasn't a big glass wall between us. Well, let's fight this one and get you out of here. Right, thank you. Phew, she smiled at last. She's like an entirely different person. One last question, you are innocent, right? Yes! I trust you. So you trust me too, okay? It's a deal. So what next? Something has been, bu something has been bugging me. That dirty slut. She was inside that strange woman's drawer, and also her and also her drawers. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It was then when I tr when I tried looking in the drawer that she got all defensive. Has to be something in there. Okay, well, she's I'm done with her, so alright, let's go. Let's go back to Gatewater Hotel. Huh. Oh. Good afternoon, sir. Excuse me, you are uh, I beg your pardon, sir. I am the bellboy of this establishment at your service, sir. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm just coming to deliver the room service, sir. Um, do you know where Miss May might be? I believe our guest, Mr. May, is currently using the, uh, fac uh facilities. <laughs> if you have no need for anything, then I'll be taking my leave. Please, stay as long as you- as long as you like. Enjoy. Yeah. Huh. What's the point of him, though? There's gotta be some point to you, right? Wait, no, hey! Why does it seem like every- every time I come here, I end up embarrassing myself. Wait, that's my chance to stoop around a bit. Uh, I almost forgot. Ah! You came back quick! <laughs> I'm very... I'm very sneaky, sir. Would you like... Would you let me change your socks, sir? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> might I ask you to... Might I ask you to inform Miss, Miss May that there is a message for her? Please tell her that Mr. White have Blue Core phoned. Blue... Blue Core phoned. Oh, right. Sure. Mr. White of Blue Core? Where have I heard that name? White! That was his name. My sister told me. Oh, that's right. What was the name of the guy who ruined me and Maya's mother? Could it be a coincidence? I don't think so. I don't believe in coincidences. Alright, what the hell is in here? There's a screwdriver sticking out of the half-open drawer. That was my chance to see what's inside. What? <laughs> what do we have here? Uh, a wiretap. Ooh, she is, she is part of it, isn't she? I knew it. I knew that dirty whore was part of this. What would a woman like her be doing a thing like this? Oh, ho, wiretap added to the court record. You need like a warrant though to be able to use any of this stuff as like evidence. <laughs> I mean, right? Uh, I don't know. 
There's definitely something suspicious about this Miss May. Why would she have something like this in her hotel room? There's a story behind this. I know it. All right. I'll be using this one this bit of it's tomorrow's trial. That's for sure. For my sake. I'll get to the bot. I'll get to this woman's bottom. <laughs> wait, wait, no, no, that didn't come out right. I mean, yes. Oh. Oh, bellboy, you still there? I need someone to scrub my back and my boobs. Oh, time to scram. Look forward to tangling with you tomorrow, Miss May. In court and in bed, maybe. You know, she she wants to. To be continued. All right, well, seems like a good place to stop. <laughs> the game is yeah, you keep reaching good points for me to stop uh, the video, which is just fantastic. Anyway, like for you to this video, subscribe now, hop board the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. Until next time, guys, stay classy.